these are the Scottish uh, one shilling. Uh, they were made from 1937 to 1970. There is 19. The only one that's missing is 1952. That is right. Uh, that was originally uh, made for uh, Edward VIII, but uh, unfortunately, Edward VIII abdicated before he was crowned. Uh, I have various ones. That's uh, a proof. A coloured one, 1958. A normal, 1958. A damaged one. 1946 I suppose I could have got a better one but I uh, prefer that one um, at the base of the uh, 46 is uh, 42 is um, Edward the six and then uh, it went on to Elizabeth the second. Uh, and they stopped in 1970 because of decimalisation. Um, that's it, they are quite a nice. Oh, yeah, the. the um, in the early days, it was. The, the, the design was like that. And then in the later days. In the 50s, the design changed to that. That's the only difference about them. This is me putting the coins away. Mammoth task. So we'll have to go back into these capsules. For my collection. I have to take them out to uh, film them. Talk about them. What not. Put them back in. When you're finished. And put them all back into order in the coin box some parts do get fallen on the floor like that one I have to pick it up in a bit Have to use a blade to open them because I can't open them with my fingers. That bent one won't go in properly. Maybe, uh, maybe next year I might uh, replace it, depending how much it's going to cost. I have a few more coins to show, uh, the nodding capsule, so that'll be easier to do.
This is the coin uh, tray they've got to go back into. Um, all I've got to do is sort out the years. And then uh, we can go back in. So, like uh, 1937. I'm really showing you on. There they are, all nicely back in and ready to be filed away. These are the um, one third farthing and half a, half a farthing. Uh, the dates range from 1827. I said the leading date. Uh, 27, 35, 44, 1902, 1913 and 1913 for the one third farthing, half a farthing, 1830, 1842, 44, 44 and 45. These are the only ones I have. Um, I did try to get more, but the prices of them was quite high. Now, these originally was made for uh, Ceylon or Malta. Uh, they was never put into the uh, Malt Ceylon or Malta language. They just stayed as uh, in Britain demonization. I think that was because uh, Ceylon and uh, Malta was under the rule of Britain at the time, so it wasn't worth changing them over. Um, let me see here. I am reading this. So they only lasted out, and I think it was till 1913, and then they were gone. Um, this, these ones, George the Fourth, Victoria, George the Fourth there, and then that was a, a second. I think it is a second George. Is that right? So George the Fourth. That one is. Victoria. And George the Fifth, this one on the end is George the Fifth. So I can hold it. This one is George the Fifth. 
very very little fiddly coins I don't know what they wanted them for really The 1902, which is in very good condition of mine, uh, there was only 288 minted. The third farthing, which of these, was made for Malta, these was made for Simon, but uh, I've got it wrong, so. Uh, got it wrong again. That's William the Fourth, George the Fourth, William the Fourth, and Victoria. Victoria. And this one is uh, George the Fifth. Uh, these three: are George the Fifth, Victoria, George the Fourth, William the Fourth, William. And Victoria. That's it.